Well, it's been a pretty busy week. Um, got about 50 hours in at work, plus another 15 in drive time. And then uh, this weekend, I actually had to buy two new tires. Uh, one for this little Hyundai here. Uh, what happened was the one on the front there was <coughs> went flat because the sidewall wore out of it somehow. I don't know if it was rubbing on something or if at one time it was driven flat for a while or what the deal was. I don't feel any wear on this one I put on here, but I had to do that. Bought, bought a new tire, put that on. And as you can see, I got a nice new white wall for this beast. This tire went out the same weekend. Oh, not this one. This is a new one. Um, this new one I got uh, from North Dakota. Apparently, they're pretty hard to find. Uh, the 225, 75, 15 with the with the fancy white wall on it, because they didn't have any in Minnesota that uh, the guy could find. So they had one in North Dakota. <laughs> I got it. Cost me 130 bucks, but I needed it. Um, I guess I'll show you the tire and why I needed a new one here. Well, here's the tire I had to replace. I mean, looks looks good. Got plenty of tread on it. Still holding there. You know, it looks like a nice tire. But I noticed uh, this spring when I pulled that car out for the first time and drove it that it had a heck of a shake to it. And, you know, I never got around to jacking it up until about two weeks ago. And I jacked it up. And I found a huge bulge on this tire. And I figured, well, I'll have to get a tire in the future, but for now I'll just drive on it and it'll be fine. Then, last Sunday, I was coming home, about a mile from my house. Started shaking real bad. And this is what happened. <laughs> Blew a whole chunk out of the tire here. Uh, you can still see the massive bulge in it. I mean, that's huge. Uh, luckily, I was about a mile from my house. I was doing about 60 when it blew, but uh, I was able to get it home. Tire's still holding there, which amazes me. Usually when you lose something like that, the tire goes flat, but this one held out. So, I had to buy a new tire. That was, that was an interesting thing when that happened. <laughs> but I knew exactly what it was when I heard the flap, you know, so I slowed way down and made it home. But Another thing I did this weekend was I got tabs for this, or actually I got new plates for this, and I got insurance on it, and I went uptown and I filled it with gas. Uh, so this one's road legal. I mean, doesn't still doesn't run the best, and uh, brakes aren't any good, but I can drive it around a little bit around town, so that's good. And today, hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers here, uh, I got a trailer lined up and a truck, and. 10 o'clock this morning, we should be going down to my brother's place to get his 1960 Dodge Dart. And I can get that up here, hopefully, and figure out what that knocking's doing. We'll pull the motor, pull it apart, and just check it out, and then go from there. But hopefully, that'll happen. I've been saying that for months, and never, never seemed to line up with the trailer and my schedule and everybody else's schedule. But we got it arranged for today, so let's hope it works. Well, it was a heck of an ordeal, but we got it here. It's in my shop. Uh, it, <clears throat> I didn't film any of it because it was pouring rain when we loaded her up. And uh, we ran into a couple little obstacles. Um, one obstacle was the trailer that we had had sides on it that were about a foot tall. And it was too narrow for us to clear this, uh, this bumper here and probably that back little lip on the fender there it was just too narrow to, to fit it in there it would have hit here if we drove it right up so <laughs> we went to the Home Depot got ourselves uh, two 16 foot 2 by 10s and then uh, 4 by 4 post and we cut the post up and <clears throat> laid about you know 10 inch wide swath of post every few feet and then laid the 2 by 10 uh, on top of it nailed her down and then uh, <laughs> build a little platform, I guess, so that we could uh, actually clear this so the rails would sit underneath it so we could get it on the damn trailer. And as soon as we got back to uh, my brother's house with the, uh, with the lumber to build it, it just started downpouring. So we were out there in the rain building this 
<laughs> building this platform on top of a trailer and, uh, and then of course you know the thing ran and as soon as we got it up we got the platform built and tried to drive it up it died ran out of gas I think I'm hoping but it wouldn't move anymore so we had to whip out the the winch we had pull it up on the trailer and as we were doing that we didn't have it quite centered enough it wasn't perfect so we did did do a little damage there just a small little scrape where the edge of the trailer uh, sides kind of hit it but got it on there and then of course one of the two by sixes broke um, which is fine it still rode all right and it didn't uh, didn't hit anywhere but we got it home <clears throat> which is just about all we not wanted to do was just get it home and we managed that I'll show you some of the lumber we used and it's just kind of funny what we had to do to get it back here and there's our our little homemade uh, homemade platform that we had to sit it on and that one of course broke in the front wheel but I think tomorrow I'll probably uh, start tearing into it or at least looking at it I'm gonna have to move a few things in my garage push this thing up further um, that winch <coughs> or that yeah, the little winch I got up there. It's gonna move over a couple of feet, so it's more centered in the hood. But we'll do that tomorrow. I'm tired today. I'm standing out in the soaking rain for hours. So, but we got her back. <laughs>